Welcome back to another walk around and test drive at Coyote Classics. Today we're checking out a pretty sweet Mercury. This is a 1963 Mercury Marauder. Restored beautifully. Now these are such neat cars. And you don't often see them restored, restored like this as far as paint, body, chrome. You know, all the chrome on these are so hard to find that, um, you know, to restore one to this to this level exterior, it's, it's hard to do. Um, I was trying to do some comparables on this and there was not one for sale right now on the website anywhere that I seen, classiccars.com, Auto Trader, Hemmings, nothing. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to find the value, yeah. you know? Well then how about this one too? Shay went ahead and decoded it today. It's a factory Z code, which means it came from the factory with the high performance 394 barrel. Wow, that looks nice in there. Look at the, the quality of the paint on the firewall, paint yeah. on the inner fenders, bottom of the hood. Yeah, I mean, if there's a guy out there that's had one of these or has always wanted one, you're not gonna find one you know, much nicer than this. And like I was just talking, it's so hard to find chrome in this kind of shape for a car like this. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I mean, they don't remanufacture it. No, it's not like you get on uh, National Parts Depot and say, hey, I want to restore this Marauder. Where am I going to find all this stuff? And that's probably why you don't see as many, you know? Mm -hmm. And then to have the high performance 394 barrel, it's freaking nice. The correct air cleaner, valve covers look great. Like I said, the quality of the restoration, even all the bolts, everything was painted off the car and all put back together when it was done. So nice car. Yeah, it is. It'll Power steering, power brakes is yep. also nice to have. You know, we said this after a while on our test drive, but when I first drove it, I would blew my mind that the original AM radio still worked. <laughs> yeah, it's a remarkable car. Um, just look at the bumper, like you said, the, the chrome grill, Bumper's the got a headlights. Great shine. This looks to me like it's original, um, just really nice. So either they bought you know, a, a really nice original piece or this is the original one to the car. Great shine, but when you look really, really close, you can just kind of tell its age, but it's kind of a poppy red. It's kind of that orangey red, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, and originally it was it was two-tone red with white, like a okay. white painted top. I'm glad they went just uh, the one single color. Yeah. I like the American Racing wheels uh, wrapped around those front disc brakes. I mean, the car's got a great stance, and I like a little bit of that modern look with those tires and wheels. Yeah, I do too. Body line's beautiful. Love this chrome piece here. Hood line's up good. Few sort small of the rocker, rock chips. doesn't it? The rocker, the yeah. bottom of the fender, everything lines up great. A couple very small little rock chips, but and that all the way down the bottom is really nice and solid. Door fits awesome. A couple tiny little dings in that chrome, but like you said, it's so minute. I mean, look how small that little tiny ding is right there. Mm -hmm. But it's in great shape. Original door handle still. I'm gonna guess all this was all taken off and re chrome because this is beautiful. Yeah, it is. It really is. Top's in great shape. There's a lot of chrome on it, isn't there? I can hear Yeah, they're a beautiful car. I love, my favorite thing on this one in the Marauders, I think, is the rear end with the tail lights, all the brushed aluminum and the chrome bumper. Yeah, it's you really pull sharp. up to a car show in this, I mean, you'll definitely win a trophy. I mean, it's gorgeous and just, you don't see them, you know? Uh-uh. Especially not, especially cars like this, it's hard to find exact production numbers, but I'd be really curious how many Z codes with the high performance 390. I'd imagine a lot of them probably had maybe a 392 barrel. They probably did. But the 394 barrels or a 350 probably pretty unique. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm guessing all as well. Interior wise, door panels really nice, door jam paints nice. The biggest thing on the whole car, if I was gonna pick on anything, would just be the seats are in good shape, but they're a little bit, a few wrinkles to them. Yeah, you know, when they recovered them, they they could have did just a little tighter job, especially on the back seat, but very nice though. But the dash, all that's beautiful. Door jam paint, they did new carpet. Headliner's really nice and tight. Dome light works, back shelf looks good. Top of the back seat's nice. I'm really glad we bought this. I mean, you can just tell the kind of restoration. They put the all these new little stoppers in, and look at this. I mean, everything was taken out, done right. I mean, there's yeah. no overspray on nothing. Someone's going to be really happy with this, and we probably have it priced too cheap, honestly. <laughs> That's all right. Let's sell it and make someone happy and get that... Uh, you know, get it at a car show and somebody's gonna say, hey, where'd you get it? You I'll know? pop the trunk quick. That emblem's neat. You know, I don't even know where you'd find something like that, like the emblem on the trunk for one of these. 
maybe eBay from a junkyard. That'd be about it. You Probably know, $600. You know, well, they don't reproduce it, but somebody if had a good one could re-chrome it. But this is original. See it? You got some just some little tiny little lines in that chrome. And even here, you know, we put gas in this. This is cool. It did have a locking gas cap. Brady's yeah, like, why the hell would somebody do that? He didn't lock it very good, did he? No. That's all right. Um, spare, jack, mm -hmm. car cover. And this, he did like some di like some sound deadening or oh. whatever. But if you peel it back a little bit, you can see it's all good to solid. Yeah. But you just, I haven't had the whole thing off just because he's got it no, all I would. down. I mean, it looks good. It's all carpeted. Mm -hmm. Got mm -hmm. the mats all painted. The trunk floor is painted red. Bottom of the trunk lids. Got the jack sticker. Really solid up in here as well. It's always good to look in there. That's nice. The door shut with ease. So does that trunk lid. Mm -hmm. Trunk lid lines up beautiful. Paint's nice on it. I mean, you could do a white vinyl top back on it if you wanted, but I like it just the way it I is. I do too. I like it red. These are nice, distinctive. Um, all the bottom chrome looks good. You know, the bottom chrome with this Mercury almost looks like a cutlass chrome. Yeah. You know, it, like uh -huh. a 66, 67 cutlass has. It does. To break it up. Um, lower quarters in front of the wheel, behind the wheel. Bottom of that uh, door is excellent. Just two little tiny little chips right on the edge. Mm -hmm. But uh, just like the passenger side, the bottom of the fender matches up great to the rocker. It lines up better than any of them I've seen in a long time. It does. And then as far as the numbers on the drivetrain, yeah. the transmission uh, C4 decodes to a 1963, right okay. on the same time the car was built. So yep. very likely the transmission is original to the car. Okay. The 390 that's in it, yep. we couldn't find any casting or VIN number on that to identify the year. But transmission... Ford back in that time was just kind of tricky. It was, especially the early Fords the are hard to verify. Colors. JM, trim is 95. Okay, go to our website. Shay will have all that decoded for you. Uh, seats are in great shape, except for like Dalton mentioned. Back seat's got a few wrinkles in it. Headliner is beautiful. Dome light works. And just the gauges before I turn it over to Dalton here. Like all these circle gauges are just super cool. Yeah, they are. A lot of them work too. Um, they did go with, ahead with the aftermarket sound there, but a lot of the factory ones all work. This is all original here too and still in good shape. This is what impressed me. Um, I owned my How own about business that, for about 11 years where I did nothing but sale, owned a tool franchise. Really? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I've been doing sales off and on and I've been, been in doing sales like for this guy. Two years. Okay. Sounds like you might be hire him. If you can make 120000 in sales, you can make 150000 in sales. Ooh. Thanks, Good Dave. Advice, Rush. Dave Ramsey. That's that Dave Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah. Okay. All right, you know about it. I thought it was Rush. Just about what you. Rush is no longer with us. That's right. I shouldn't have been. He an icon, though. All right. Sorry. All right. So, um, oil pressure gauge up here works. Gas gauge works. We filled it all the way to the top, and I know it works. Okay. Uh, it's got 102,388 miles on it. Um, temp gauge, I think, will work, but we'll see what's going on here. Uh, but the one down here definitely is working. They're both right at that 100 right now. Oil pressure is 50. Goes up to about up. 60. Amp gauge works. Heater fan works. Yep. Wipers. Look how clear that windshield is, too. You can tell when they restored it, they probably put a new windshield in. That's gorgeous. Chrome in here is beautiful. Visors are nice and tight. It's a padded dash all the way up here, but all the painted pieces, Rad, are gorgeous, too. I think you're right. This one might be just a little cheap. <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> probably a little more than a little cheap, but it's someone's right. going to get a really good deal on the car. We'll, yeah. We'll move um, the price. But armor looks like it's going to work too. That power steering is so nice. Even though this is a big car, a lot of them didn't come with power steering. A lot of those Galaxies and Mercury's. And just so you know that we're not going to change the price, you want to say the price in this video so uh, they know we're not going to raise it. Twenty nine 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 five. Yep, and that's where we're going to keep her, even though it is too cheap for this thing. Yeah, it's a good car. I mean, you couldn't restore it for under forty grand. No. I mean, if you had a project, Shit, you couldn't and you even to restore you it. You couldn't even find one anymore for. Can't find one to start with. No. No, I know we're gonna hear a few people. Hey, my buddy has one, or whatever. But I mean, as far as I didn't see any for sale. Yeah, I don't even know if you'd hardly hear that. You just don't see these cars very much. Here's your brakes. Brake stop, nice and straight. No pull left or right. Um, also, the kick down worked there too. I don't know if you noticed that. Dee. 
390 sounds good. Mm -hmm. It's quiet. You know what I mean? What a beautiful day we have. It oh, went from like 100 degrees yesterday to what was it like 58 this morning? Yeah, and a breeze. It's felt great all day. It feels like fall. I'm excited for fall. Ready for cool weather and football season. And we're excited for golf a little later today. Yeah, that's gonna, it's gonna be a nice day to golf. We finally got a good one. All right, Let's hit the road. Now, 390 high performance, but gotta remember, this is a big old car. But let's, 60. Picks right up. I just left right off the gas at 65. Get a little nervous. Is that a cop out of us or no? How about that? This is a 390 high performance, it huh? It is, yeah. That kicked down worked great. Got us right up to 65, 70. Here's your brakes. Speedometer really seems really nice and accurate too. Um, we're gonna make a nice turn here. One thing I really, really felt good is just that uh, I really love the this turning radius and the power steering on here. Temperature gauge in the dash, I don't think is working, but the alternator, oil pressure, and gas gauge do. But our temp gauge here is running 140, 40 pounds of oil pressure right now. Yeah, this is a sweet little car. I'm glad we bought it. It's got a uh, one other thing here too. It's got a remote mirror that works. That, that mirror is way out in the fender. That's factory pretty neat. remote mirror. It's really pretty got cool. a lot of good options. It does. It really does. And if you want the poor man's air conditioning, you got that too. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. What a car. It is nice. And the steering wheel. I don't know if you check that out. We got the old Mercury Man right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This guy's got his flasher still. What the hell is he doing? Okay, we're, we've been sitting here for like five minutes. We got some traffic today. He's in a hurry. I guess. Probably forgot they were on. He said it's a fast car. It's just nothing like out of the Well, point. it's got, it's um, 3 oh, like 300 to gear ratio. Oh, is that right? ratio, yeah. Going three. down the road, there's 70. I mean, that's 80. And it's just absolutely perfect. You let off the gas, hit it again. It drives just as nice as it looks inside and out. Yeah, it's Again, here's high speed braking. It's just ready to go. Mm -hmm. Called it, you know, this one won't take long in the sold sold department at all. I mean, no. It's pretty much ready to go. No, it's a great car. Check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next test drive. Hey, one second. I uh, beg to differ. The factory temp gauge is working. See that? Yeah, it's Came coming up. up. Yep. That's crazy. That's perfect. So what a car. all the factory gauges work. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.